I can't tell you how pleased I am to welcome back Chef Mark Quinones, the guy who puts the fine in dining at the Ensure, located at Sandia Casino and Resort. Welcome back, Mark. Thank you. I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to have you, not only because you're such a wonderful guy, but <laughs> Thank you. I can't say that the kitchen does not smell fantastic. It certainly <laughs> does. And today you're actually going to make us buffalo, right? Yes. Oh, that's exciting because I've never seen this made and I, and I want to understand the process. But before you do that, can you just tell us a little bit about the Ensure? Um, well, we are located at the Sandia Resort and Casino right. on the ninth floor. Okay. Uh, it's a fine dining restaurant. However, we do have a full lounge, so we do have a lounge menu. Yes. Um, we have two bars. We have a covered patio. So it's just really phenomenal. And I hear so many good things. I right. actually, I have been meaning to come in, as you know, and I, yeah. everyone talks about that patio. Everyone talks about just the views and everything about the atmosphere there. It's so much more than just the food. Definitely. And another bonus is that you can actually have food off the dinner menu in the patio. Oh, I love that right. because a lot of times you go to a bar type of restaurant or a lounge and you don't get the same options. Exactly. So you can sit there, open up the window, it opens up. Oh, I love that. Get a nice breeze, view the mountains and have a great dinner. And what are some of those menu options? In the, on the lounge menu? Mm -hmm. Well, we have chicken and chorizo skewers. Oh, yummy. Yeah, those are fantastic. Uh, we have flash fried calamari. Oh. And we do a wonderful uh, green chili dry rub chicken wing. Oh, that sounds so yeah. good. Is it a seasonal menu? Yeah, we change that seasonal. Okay. Absolutely. So that's good to know. Right, so we have the fine dining in the dining room. Right. Which is also available if you want in the patio. Perfect. And then we have that kind of lounge menu if you just want to hang out, enjoy your evening, and have light appetizers. Perfect. Well, like I said, you put the fine in dining, so let's see how it's done by the real chef. Okay. So what I have here is a buffalo tenderloin. Okay. And I wrapped it in applewood bacon. Oh, my gosh. And I, grill, <laughs> I grilled it on the back on the grill to get those grill marks on it. That's why it smells so good, huh? Uh, it's that exactly. And now we're going to put it in the pan. So you, I think the grill marks really make such a nice presentation. Oh, they, cer they certainly do. Wow, it's beautiful. And now the, we're going to sear it so we can lock in all the juices. Okay. And as it sears, that bacon is going to lard the buffalo and impart that flavor. So now, do you not have to grease the pan because of the grease that comes off of the bacon? Exactly. Okay, that makes yes. sense to me. And how long on each side, generally, do you need to sear it? Well, for, for medium rare, uh -huh. I would do about four and a half minutes on each side. Okay, good to know. I always, li I always like to ask that because I never know how long to go. Right. Now, I want to also ask you, where do you generally get your buffalo from? Because, <laughs> you know, I always like to ask the chefs where they buy the, the good meat from. I want to make sure I'm cooking with the best. <laughs> Oh, this, this is the best, absolutely. We get this buffalo from North Dakota. Oh, wow. Yeah, from a ranch in North Dakota. Really? Yeah, and it comes in fresh. Uh, we get the whole tenderloin and we clean it. Oh we portion it out. So it's a real treat. It's actually one of our top sellers. I'm excited about this. Okay, <laughs> now to complement it, I see a lot of other things going on, including mashed potatoes. What I'm doing here is some roasted shallot and mashed potatoes. Ooh, with shallots? Oh, that makes exactly. it better. Exactly. So what I'll do with <laughs> this is I'll, I'll, you get your shallot and uh -huh. you, you just slice it. Okay. And you do it, you do it the chef's way. Oh yeah. I always say I'm the worst. <laughs> I love watching so, chefs cut onions. After you slice it, you put it in the pan. Okay. And you go in the oven with it. Oh, really? Yes. Why is that? You roast it. Just to give it that nice caramelized oh. roast flavor. Okay. Yeah, it's delicious. Good tip. Okay. Yeah, and then after that you puree it. Mmm. So you're, you're like speaking my, my <laughs> language of my heart. So then you, you take your roasted shallot, puree, okay. mm -hmm. you put it in with the mashers. Okay. And do you just use regular? Potatoes. Yeah, we use russet potatoes. Okay. You know, we use heavy cream, okay. little salt, white pepper, a mm -hmm. little bit of garlic. That I love putting a little garlic in my mashed yeah. potatoes. And you kind of fold in the roasted shallot. Wow. And the, yeah, the flavor of the shallot works tremendous with the buffalo. Okay, okay. So that's good because it's nice to know what you complement what with. I right. I love to know that. So little mashed potatoes, little buffalo. I smell the bacon too. Oh. Yeah, delicious. Okay. So while that's, while that's cooking over there, we have some radicchio. Mm, okay which I'm going to core out, and I'm going to julienne this. Okay. Nice. And how long have you been doing this, Mark? I've been cooking now for almost 12 years. Wow. Yeah. He started as a very young child. <laughs> <laughs> so I or guess else I'm, he ages very well. I guess some grapeseed oil. Okay. Oh, yes. You, yeah. You, you had said to me about the grapeseed oil being a great, a great way to... Yeah. I like, I like using that because it doesn't really taint the flavor of the food, right? Nope. And that's the key. You know, you, you want to feature the, the flavor of the ingredient exactly. without masking it. Exactly. So we'll get some fresh garlic, mm. some grapeseed oil. Okay. Well, that, then that, that'll get hot. And yeah. we'll saute the radicchio, and it's, it's delicious. I've never sauteed radicchio before. No, no you know what radicchio is, right? It's, well, it's I always a, think of it like a lettuce. Um, actually, it's an Italian chicory. 
Oh, it's a chicory. Yes. Okay. Yes. I should know this being a right. but So okay. the, the radicchio and the buffalo and the roasted shallot, oh. it's just a really, really nice marriage. So nice. And then I also am noticing some asparagus. Yes. The asparagus, we're going to go ahead and dice up. Okay. And we're just going to use the spears. Just the spears, Yeah. Really? That'll go in the water. Okay. And obviously, is there a reason you only use the spears? Is it just appearance or? Yeah, for this dish, okay. you know, it's a really high-end dish. Okay. We want to feature the presentation. And Definitely. Exactly. I think that makes a big difference, the no, presentation. It, it truly really does. does, especially at a high level. You know, you have to, you know, you eat with your eyes first. You really do. Yeah, you know, so you want to have that plate. It needs to pop on the plate. Absolutely. So and you know, the colors, too. Right. Now, let's tell everybody how they can head on over to Sandia Resort and Casino and make sure that they fill their tummies as well as try to fill up their bank accounts, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can always call for reservations at 505-798-3700 or 800-526-9366. And would you recommend reservations? Absolutely, okay. yes. So you want to make a reservation and you can head on in Friday and Saturday nights up until 10 o'clock and Tuesday through Thursday. So the only day you really just don't want to go on a Sunday or Monday. So yes. don't, don't <laughs> think about it on Sunday or Monday. Just put it out of your mind and build up that appetite. Yes. <laughs> right? <laughs> go gamble Sunday or Monday. You know, I'm promoting gambling. I should not do that because I'm, I have no luck. I have no luck and I don't want to promote it and then have other people have bad luck. Well, Sandia is the best. It is, though. It Absolutely, really is. Yes. And you've got a lot of great things, a lot of concerts going on. So there's so many fun things. But, of course, the heart comes through the belly, for yes. me at least. So, oh, it sure does. Yes. And so I want to let everybody know, once again, you have been searing the buffalo wrapped in bacon. Yep. You've got the mashed potatoes. With the roasted shallot. The roasted shallots. The asparagus. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to get our radicchio. And the small saute pan with the fresh garlic the and fresh the garlic. grapeseed oil. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be very aromatic and it's going to smell divine. Absolutely. Yeah. And how long do you like to keep the asparagus in the water as well? About three to four minutes. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Okay, just to yeah. soften it a little exactly. bit? Exactly. Perfect. Well, when we come back, I'm going to be digging in. <laughs> I don't know if I can wait. This recipe, of course, can be found today on Taco.com. We'll be right back. I have to say, I'm sorry, I'm standing here in awe of the presentation, Mark. Mark Quinones of Bien Sure. This is the most beautiful presentation of a dish. It is so beautiful, and we need to yeah. taste it immediately before we go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. And we want to thank all of today's guests so much for being with us. Thank you for joining us as well. And if there's anything you need to know about today's show, all you need to do is log on to our website at casa.com. Can I start cutting into it, Mark? Oh my gosh, Ooh, thank you. And what you have on the bottom here is a little red chili demi gloss. Ooh, yum. Yummy. Let me know what you think. Okay. Is it good? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Mm. Can I dig into this pretty presentation? Yeah, please. I feel please guilty do. with that radicchio. See, my parents say radicchio. I never know if it's radicchio or radicchio. Yeah, it's radicchio.